Okay, let's talk about the box from the MSF course. Your dimensions are going to be 60 feet long by 20 feet wide. Now that 20 feet wide can vary based on your location and the CC of your bike. Um, if you're having trouble at 20 feet, feel free to stretch that to 22 or even 24 feet while you get familiar with how the drill works. In this diagram, you can see the intended route of traveling through the box successfully. As you enter the top right, you'll come along and approach the first U-turn, as we'll call it, but you're gonna, instead of turning 180 degrees, you're gonna turn about 270 degrees, so that you'll end up pointing back to the top right corner where you came in, where you'll once again proceed making another 270 degree angle to come out along the bottom baseline and out the bottom left of the diagram. This routing is important because it maximizes your chances of getting through without having to put a foot down. Welcome to the box, take two. Basic things we're gonna be using today. Bunch of cones, I think I got them from Walmart, like a dollar a piece. New tape measure. And a 25 foot tape measure that'll actually do what we need it to this time without breaking. So, uh, this is a joint vlog with me and Vroom Kitty. Say hi, Vroom Kitty. Hi, Vroom Kitty. Here's the box. Take two, and action. Oh. Little oh, foot geez. break, little foot break. Keep it on. Foot break. There you go. All right, all right, okay. all right. You might have brushed a line, but you didn't cross any of them. Yeah. I think that'd be perfect in the MSF. They definitely passed that. <laughs> yeah, I saw far worse than mine. <laughs> Considering, right? All right. I've now, seen one of them. Oh, the no. Mixer. Well there done, well right. done. Foot break right there at the apex is the key. All right. Well done. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> Way to go, Kami. Jixer. <laughs> Don't let LaGertha embarrass you. The fat bitch can do it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is capable. That's the key. When you're out there, keep the RPMs up. Yeah. Let that clutch out, and when you need to start really making that sharp turn, just to tap a foot brake right there as you start your final turn. Let it dive just a second, and then release the clutch and let it pull you through. Well, it only took me, what, three, four tries? But we did get it done. You got to do it. What, on her? Yeah. Well, you've already shown you can do it on Gertha. Oh, <laughs> I didn't give it it's any throttle. I know, like you gotta just almost like, you almost wish that the bike had a choke on it. Yeah. So you could just like have its baseline RPMs be 3000. But then again, that's the point of the drill is to teach you that good throttle control and good clutch control. That was clean. RPMs, a little foot brake. Outside of line. Right. Yeah, but not bad at all. Not bad at all, right? No. I bet you feel a lot better about the way that bike handles now than you did on your first run. Yeah, I definitely feel better about take two. So as you can see, uh, certainly got two bikes with very different characteristics here. Um, you know, in my opinion, uh, 
this bike is a lot easier to maneuver in this type situation. What do you think, Broom Kitty? Definitely. Yeah, the FC definitely has the edge in the low speed moves, but we both put enough miles on this bike where we're not surprised by that. But she can do it. The Jixer certainly can do it at these dimensions. Um, it's we could tighten it a little. Okay. I mean, not right now, but I feel like I could work on bringing yeah, the no, box and that's in. that's the thing, and that's the thing about the box. Like, if you're doing it at 20 feet, and you just can't do it, and you're putting your foot down because you're trying to make that, in my opinion, spread Moving that thing up. out to 24, yeah. 25 feet, whatever it takes to get the method down. You know, if you're riding a bigger, if you're riding a leader bike, I think, see, I know in some of the states, you're permitted a bigger box. I think it goes up to 24. I think the 20 foot box is only for 200 or, or under 500 cc's or something like that. So that's going to be, you know, pretty much the bikes they provide you in Virginia. And then, you know, like a WR250, you know, something like that. So honestly, it's unfair that this bike would be given the extra space because it doesn't need it, but it would be, I think, in those, in those places. Um, so anyway, but, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I haven't really paid as close attention to my low speed throttle control as I should have. Um, I feel like my clutch control is really good and I feel like my rear brake is a little bit rusty. So that's the cool thing is those three things that you really, really make you a good rider, especially some of those in low speed and emergency situations, um, really get emphasized by this drill. So cool. Well. That was nice and all. Let's pick up these cones and yep. have an actual ride. What do you think? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> cool.